Hello and welcome to JavaScript Evangelist. In today's video, we are going to continue where we left off. So in the last video, we just rendered some products from an, from an array of objects. And so basically we were rendering product. And in today's video, what we are going to do is we are going to work on the functionality of this add button. So we are not going to introduce Redux yet, but we'll deal with basically ES6 and array functionalities. So let's get started. I'm just going to fork this project. And I'm just quickly going to rename this. So this is basically the same project, but this time inside our state, we are going to add another key called cart. And by default, let's just add one product. So uh, we'll get a feel of how it looks when we have something in our product cart. So I'll just copy this, or maybe I'll just copy the fourth item and paste it here. So simply, we need the same product over here. We want to map the exact ID. We are going to add one more unit over here. This is basically a new key which says units, and simply we are going to have one unit of this product. So basically, we have one banana into our cart. And this is going to be an array of objects. Just for the testing purpose, I'm just going to render this state card into our UI. I'm just going to wrap this uh, with UL. And inside this UL, we are going to map our card. So we are just returning in JSX inside this li we for the fun c dot name so we are just rendering the name of the product and let's just see how many units we have in our cart let's say units and over here c dot units all right so let's just see it in action how it looks i'm just going to open the preview window Okay, C is not defined. Let's see why. Okay, we have the C over here. So as you can see, I did a really silly mistake over here. So I'm just typing a JavaScript statement without using curly braces. So I'm just going to do that. Inside this curly braces, I'm typing the JavaScript expression now. So let's check it out. All right, it's already rendering. So we can see the name of the product is unit, uh, name of the product is banana and we have one unit of the banana. If I increase this to two and you can see it's working. All right. So what we want to do now is as soon as I click on this add button, if we have Apple in our cart, it should increase the units by one. Otherwise, let's say there are no apples in our cart. It should just simply add it to the cart. So let's get started. So inside the products map, you can see we are returning this product. Over here, simply I'm going to add a function. So this is going to be basically treated as our properties, props. So I'll just call it as add func. Right now we are not passing anything, but let's just utilize this inside our product.js file. Over here, I'm going to accept one more property called add func. And this should be called whenever we click on this button. All right. I'm just simply going to take this to the next line. And I'm just going to say on click is equal to inside curly braces. And I'm going to return an anonymous function over here. So what will happen if I just call this function over here like this? So even before I'm I click on this button, this function will get executed. So what I want is, I want to execute this function only when I click on this button. Otherwise, uh, what you can do is simply remove this parenthesis and this will still work fine. But this add form will not get past things that we want to pass. So by default, add func will receive an event that is the click event, but we, we don't want to do that. Instead of that, we want to pass the things that we wish to pass. So 
I'm going to return a new anonymous function over here and add func will receive things that we want to pass. So simply I'm going to pass the entire object over here again like this. Alright and I'm going to specify units as one. So in future let's say if you add an incrementer inside product we can update this value as well. Okay so for now we are just inside that func we are just passing one product the same product with unit set to one. All right. So at the end of this side means inside the application main app, we are going to receive this function. So let's just do that. I'm going to do is handle add fun. All right. Which is going to receive an entire product. All right. So let's just do a console log just to see what we are receiving when we do click on that button. Okay. Ignore this for now. I'll get to the unique key property in a moment. But just for now, let's just click on this add cup. Okay. Add func is not a function. Let's see why. Uh, again, a silly mistake. <laughs> I forgot to pass the handle add func over here. So simply I'm going to pass it over here. So since we are inside a class, I need to call the inner function with this keyword. So this dot handle fun. But this won't work again. So let's see why it won't work. I'll just simply go over here and click on add. Okay, this time it is working. Trust me, but most of the cases, let's say inside hand, handle, handle add fun. If I suppose to use at this keyword for fun let's just do console.log this so we'll so we'll see what is the context of this inside hand handle add funk okay so what we want is this should be referring to the app but let's see what happens okay so this is undefined that is weird so what happens if I have to access this dot state which means I won't be able to access that. So it says state of undefined. So to fix this issue, we have to bind the context of this to whatever we say. So I want to say bind the context of this, which is inside handle func to whatever I pass over here. So, so if I say const x y z is equal to an object which has state okay which is going to be an empty array one two three and let's see why this is crying okay I forgot to close it and let's see if it is working so what I'm going to do is add func this dot handle add func bind x y z so whatever is this inside this handle func will be now xyz. So perfect. So now it says xyz has this state. So this part is binding to xyz. Now in the same way I can change the context of this to this this. And simply you say this. Alright. Now let's see if it's working fine. Perfect. We are able to access the state. So let's move ahead. Now since our handle func, so basically handle add func is working fine. Even our props are passing the entire object which we can see over here. Now simply we need to handle add this receive product to the cart. So let's do that. First of all we are receiving a product. We need to find if this product already exists into our cart. So let's do that. So I'm just going to say existing product is equal to so this dot state dot cart dot filter. Okay. I can even do a fine index. But with filter I'll get I'll return basically if there is something matching I'll I'll get that entire product with me. Okay. 
but with find index i'll just know the index at which that product is residing okay so i'll just use filter over here so i'm going to filter the entire cart so basically we are going to get each and every product now we need to find this product so if current p dot id is equal to equal to product dot id okay so we'll receive this existing product okay let's see what we have to do now so assume this product is already existing then we need to increase its units so if existing product dot length is greater than it's greater than zero okay then we have to update this units how do we do that now okay by the way you might be wondering why i'm doing a length if i'm receiving one single product no filter will always return you an array okay so if existing product dot length if it is greater than zero that means we have one product inside this existing product all right so moving ahead if the product already exists so we have to simply update this particular product inside the cart but look at this okay just stay with me so if i say this dot set state and i have to update the cart cart will be all the products of the cart so this dot state dot cart okay plus our existing product but if i do that if i do this existing product remember we are going to receive an array so i'm just going to zero so what will happen is it will have this product this product we are also going to have another product with the same key but we don't want to do that what we want to do is we want to increase the units let's see what happens now i'm just going to save this remember we have this banana into our cart let's see what happens so banana and where is the banana all right so we get two bananas and two units that's weird okay to fix this what i'm going to do is let's say if the product already exists i'm simply going to remove it from the cart and push our new existing product okay let's see that so if this happens okay i'm going to say without existing product is equal to this dot state dot cart dot filter so i'm going to filter out all the products okay p dot id which are not equal to equal to product dot id so simply we'll get all the products except this product all right so without existing products okay so this is basically all the products basically all the cards all the products inside our cart i'm just going to spread them over here and i'm going to push our new product updated product which we are going to create over here now so i'll say updated units product is equal to so this is simply going to be all the keys of the existing product but i have to update the units with existing product okay existing product uh, zero existing product dot units plus whatever the product units we have all right let's see this in action if it's working so updated product i am just going to push it to this array now and let's see it in action so we have bananas already over here and this should this unit should turn to 3 perfect it is working i'm simply going to click keep on adding but what if we don't have the product so in that case it should append the product to the cart 
so that is the else condition okay else i know this is a very uh, mm, <laughs> all the code is over here only so we are going to refactor this but when we introduce redux all right so if the product doesn't exist we are simply going to push the new product to the cart okay so this is going to be existing cart plus the new product and let's see and now if i hit apple i get one units of apple if i hit cat i get one unit of cat but if i hit apple again it should increase the count of the apples perfect all right and that's it from this video so in the next video we are going to work on creating a ui for our shopping cart and thanks for watching please please i do love to see those comments and i'll personally comment to each of your comments ask me any questions ask me even questions on your javascript career or maybe golang and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching